Coming up this week on Winchester Deadly Passion, Melissa Bachman returns to her favorite big buck destination, Illinois' famed Golden Triangle Whitetail. On this trip, however, she takes the opportunity to step behind the camera and guide a special friend on her hunt of a lifetime. For Kelly, the outdoors isn't a hobby, it's a way of life. Her desire to live this life to the fullest has led to an amazing wish and the realization that dreams really do come true. When I was six years old, I shot a gun for the first time. I hit the bullseye on my first shot. The title of this magazine article that I wrote is Say Your Prayers Varmint, This Girl's Got Amy. From that point on, I knew what my passion was. Now I'm 15 and I shoot prairie dogs at more than a thousand yards away. There's not that many people that really have that much of a passion for hunting and for shooting as someone like Kelly does. In fact, it's a lot like mine. And what I like about it is the fact that she just loves it. She lives and breathes it. She grew up in a small town. She hunts with her dad and it's super important to her. In fact, I'm pretty sure sometimes that's all she thinks about and I can relate because I was just like that. I think about hunting probably, um, let's see, 14 hours of the day because I'm sleeping about 10 hours every night, so that works out about right. Now this is my next co-host, and isn't she beautiful? Take a bow. I live a pretty hectic life. I'm traveling all over, running around, setting up hunts, editing, thinking things were really, really tough, and then I got a call from Wishes and More. Now what Carla asked pretty much blew me away. They had a young girl who grew up close to my hometown whose wish was to hunt with me and she wanted to hunt in Illinois at Golden Triangle Whitetail. I couldn't believe it. All of a sudden, I'm thinking all the things that are happening in my life, that's nothing compared to some of the struggles that she has going and yet her wish is to come hunting with me. But Kelly has was diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia and she um, is going to be losing her ability to walk amongst other things. And so it is important for her to do what she can while she can. And when she described her wish, she also said that she wanted to mount it. And, and why did you tell us? So when the diagnosis gets farther along, then I can see what I've accomplished. And this young lady is accomplishing a lot. So of course I was all about it and it really kind of changed my thought process on things. All of a sudden I realized some of these little things, that's nothing compared to what some people are going through and I was really, really excited. Hey Kelly and everyone at the Wishes and More Ball, I'm Melissa Bachman and I'd hope to be with you in person tonight. But if you're watching this, well, I wasn't able to get there in time. However, I still wanted to be the one to tell Kelly that her wish is going to come true. Kelly, this is what Wishes and More and I have arranged for you. On Friday, October 10th, you and your dad will be traveling to Golden Triangle Whitetail, located in Clayton, Illinois, which just so happens to be one of my favorite hunting spots in the entire world. We'll all be staying at the lodge, and you and I, we're gonna hunt big bucks for three days together in a blind during the youth gun season. 
You asked for a lot of pictures. How about having me film your hunt and incorporate the footage into my show, Winchester Deadly Passion, and we'll title the episode, Kelly's Wish Comes True. Did you even hear all the things she said to you? That's so awesome. <laughs> Well, I'm not gonna lie, it brought tears to my eyes just putting that footage together. It was such a cool experience, and as much as I wished I could be there, well, I knew Kelly and I were gonna have tons of fun time in the future. She's so anxious to meet you, and you, just like when I said when I first met you, you are gonna be as beautiful as she is, and that's gonna be a dynamite show, and we'll let all of you know when it's gonna be on the air, so you can watch Kelly's wish come true. <laughs>disheartening for me to know that I couldn't be at the Wishes and More banquet and our hunt was going to be in October. But I wanted to go and I wanted to meet Kelly before that. So she lives close to my parents so I went over there and we actually filmed together for the day. Immediately we just had a wonderful time. She brought me in their barn, she's showing me different animals that they've got in different mounds. Her little brother just a blast and we all sat around playing games, got to meet her mom, her little sister, her dad, all of us spent the day together. And to me, that's really important because yes, the hunt is part of this, but it's more about building that relationship and getting to know Kelly and her family. And when you meet people that are as kind and as wonderful as they are, well, you wanna to get to know them better, spend time with them. And I knew that that would just make our hunt together that much better. When they first said that I was gonna be on TV, I was like, that no, I'm not very good at talking in front of cameras, but it was more about the hunt to me than being on TV. It's really awesome to cherish that time with somebody else and to be able to spend time with another hunter. Kelly finally arrived to camp while well, I was so excited because I'd been waiting for what seemed like forever. She got there, her and her dad, I wanted to make sure they were comfortable. We sat in the lodge, we had a great time taking pictures. In fact, Mike was sitting there showing her all sorts of different cutty back bucks and we were looking at him and she was excited. You could just see her eyes getting huge and that's the fun part. When you've got cutty backs out there, when you've got cameras out there, seeing the bucks that you're gonna have the opportunity to hunt, that's gonna get anyone excited. And it also gave me a little bit of peace of mind. First day we were here, we're like, oh my gosh, is this real? We took so many pictures, just of all the different deer that have been taken here. And they are huge, literally they are amazing deer. Now October can be tough to hunt, but I knew we were in a great place. Everybody's efforts were toward one thing, getting Kelly a big buck. When I heard Kelly wanted to come uh, to Golden Triangle, I, I was really, really excited. I went online, I saw the video, and it just, I had goosebumps because she's a really nice person, a really, really nice person, and she's a really good hunter too. And what was really nice is when you finally met her in person, she was just that person. She was just down to earth, nice girl, awesome shot, really good shot, really smart about everything. And it was just, it was just fun. She was a fun person. We're out in Illinois in the Golden Triangle and we're hunting big white tail bucks. The way it works in Illinois is they have created a youth season for kids 15 years old and younger 
to go out and hunt with a shotgun or muzzleloader right in October. These kids are absolutely giddy. Mike's got ice cream for them, they're feeding them, they're having a wonderful time. And really, that's what hunting's about. Sure, it's nice to see that they get big bucks, but to see all these kids in for youth season, laughing, joking, having fun, and the one thing that they all have in common is that they're out hunting together, well, that's where you get those memories that last a lifetime. Now Mike at Golden Triangle and all the guys, they were literally going out of their way. Everybody's goal was get Kelly a big buck because we all wanted to see it. They had all seen the video and every one of them was looking forward to her coming out. They even moved one of the huge box blinds down the field so that we would have the perfect place to set up. But we were all scared because you don't know if it's gonna work out. I knew we were gonna have a great time. I knew I was gonna enjoy spending time with them but the hunting part, you just never know. After the three days on the youth hunt wrapped up, well, unfortunately, we were going home empty-handed. But I didn't want Kelly to leave Illinois on just one try. I thought we've got to try harder than that. So we looked into it and Mike and I realized that there were still muzzleloader tags available. Now the best part is, we invited her back to come muzzleloader hunting, but she could also use her crossbow doe tag that she had and come a couple of days early. So I was excited. I cleared my schedule, made it back to Illinois. We met up and we headed out to the blind and my hope was to see an eye full of deer and hopefully get Kelly her first doe with a crossbow. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Cuddyback Digital. More deer, fewer blanks. Hard-hitting Easton Arrows. Hunter's Safety System. Winchester Repeating Arms. Analogics, protect your deer herd with the power of science. Scent killer gold with Hunt Dry technology. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Angle Coolers and Freezers, a legend in reliability. And Golden Triangle Whitetail, your hunt of a lifetime awaits. Now my goal, it was to get Kelly out in Illinois and just have an amazing youth season. Now it's only three days long, but unfortunately it just didn't pan out. Deer are not always predictable, regardless of how hard we tried, we just didn't make it work. But the good news is, well it was still early in the year, it was only October and I knew there was still tags available for the muzzleloader season. And the best part is, well, I invited her to come a few days early and I thought it'll be perfect. She's got a doe crossbow tag. We can go out, hunt with the crossbow before the gun season starts. Maybe we can get a nice doe and then go after the bucks. So Kelly, Vern and I, we headed out to the blinds and we were hoping she could make it happen with the crossbow.
Kelly was diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia, which is a rare genetic disorder, and the thing is, it's gonna get progressively worse. So she wanted to have something that she could look back on to remember all the accomplishments she had made, and she has done so much. So, with the good spirit she has, she wants to do things now that she can look back on later. Now, of course, she thought that a taxidermy mount, that would be perfect. She could always remember it. But I wanted to take it up a notch. I wanted to give her more. I'm a TV producer. I thought, why not invite her to come on the show, I'll film her, and that way she can always look back and relive this entire show anytime she wants. I'm the Golden Triangle in Clayton, Illinois, and I just shot my first deer with a crossbow. Now this wasn't just me putting in a ton of time to make things work. Mike, the guys at Golden Triangle, everyone's goal was the same. We all wanted to get Kelly a huge buck and make sure she had just a wonderful time and trying to make sure that this was going to be the best trip we could ever imagine. First deer ever in Illinois. First animal I've ever gotten in Illinois. First animal with my crossbow. First time ever shooting a live target with my crossbow. There's a lot of firsts in there. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery, catch us if you can. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. ScoutLookWeather.com, download the free Deer Log app for your smartphone. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Sure Shot Jewelry, check out the Melissa Bachman collection today. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. Closed captioning is brought to you by Cuddyback Digital. Upgrade to Cuddyback and your images will never look better. They say people meet up for all sorts of different reasons, but one of the things that brought Kelly and I together is the fact that she was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder, Friedrich's ataxia, and one of the things that she was able to do is get hooked up with wishes and more, and they were able to grant her any wish she wanted. Now the crazy part is, she could have any wish out there, and she chose to go hunting with me in Illinois. Now if that's not something that's humbling, I don't know what is. Leading up to this hunt, well, we had seen a lot of bucks coming out during daylight hours on the cuttyback, so I was excited. All we needed was the cold weather. Well, as muzzleloader season came, the cold weather disappeared, of course. But we were still going to go out, we were going to hunt hard, but I knew the conditions weren't quite as good as what we originally were going to hope. If it's freezing, those bucks know they have to come out. Now it's a little bit warmer, they still could come out, and we were going to be hunting hard. But the thing in Illinois is when you're muzzleloader hunting, you can also have your crossbow with you. And Kelly still had a tag. She had a fall archery turkey tag. And the cool thing is, is I knew there's turkeys that come through all the time. And I knew there was a good shot of it. Now, of course, we were gonna be hunting for bucks, but I can promise you, if we got a crack at a turkey, we were definitely gonna take it. Him. He's down. Yes. I've never had so many like nice people to talk to. Never had so many people that enjoy hunting and everybody encourages each other and just knowing that we were there and we're like, oh my gosh, that's Melissa Bachman. 
we're on a show with her. Just being around her is awesome. Special thank you to Wishes and More. They are my heroes. Being here with my dad is awesome. I can see him in the background crying. So everybody that works there, you guys are awesome. You've made this a dream come true and it really wasn't my wish. It was totally more than I could have ever imagined. It was amazing. Thank you guys so much and I had the best time of my life. I'd have to say out of all the hunts that I've ever done, the number one thing that I always remember the most, it's not the animals I've taken, it's not the size of them, it's the people I was with. And with that, there has never been a better hunt that I've ever done in my entire life than hunting with Kelly, being next to her and seeing that joy and excitement and being able to help make a dream of hers a reality. To me, that's what it's all about. I'd love to get her a big buck, and one of these years, I'm going to. But for right now, I've created a friendship that will last a lifetime. This episode, Melissa and Kelly were hunting with Mike Pavlik of Golden Triangle Whitetail. To book your Illinois whitetail hunt, visit goldentrianglewhitetail.com and see why Melissa returns year after year.